This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Another good use of our Visual Basic Editor is the immediate window, which is available here at the bottom. Remember, if that's closed, it's on the View menu as a View Immediate Window or Control G on the keyboard shortcut. Sometimes this immediate window is referred to as the debug window because it allows you to run and test code without actually having to build it and place it inside an access object. If we want to run some code down here, we simply type a question mark. That's the precursor. And then we could even do something as simple as five times three, press return, and the code is executed. And the result we get is 15. So it's question mark, three to the power of four, return is 81. Obviously that's a bit simplified in its use, but if we want to run or test any of our functions, we can do that as well. If we resize this window, just gives a little bit more room. We have a function here in this particular module, the standard module called age. So this you'll find in the sales incorporated underscore module. If I want to test that function, I can call it by doing question mark age, remembering that VBA is not case sensitive. So although the function is capital AGE, I don't need to type that to get it to work. In fact, you can see the prompt there, age, open brackets, DOB as a date. So if I place my date of birth in, August 2nd, 1966, and then return, calculation comes back as minus 46, which actually goes to show that this function has an error. It shouldn't be the date of birth minus date should be date minus date of birth. So let's swap those two around. Date minus DOB and try that again. So already you can see an advantage to this window. Question mark, age, try the same date to prove it. August the 2nd, 1966 and return to execute 45. It is accurate. So by being able to use the immediate window here for debugging, we've actually spotted an error in the function, being able to repair that error in the function without having to return to access, call the function, and spot at some point in the future that there is an error. We've tested it now. So you'll find this immediate window really is quite useful. So if it's not open, as it usually isn't by default, you can open it from the view menu, immediate window, or the keyboard shortcut, Control G will open that same window. Don't forget the question mark, then your code that you want to execute, then return, and the answer will appear.